Broadway Balances America brought to you by Broadway Across America, bringing the best of Broadway to a city near you. Time now for another installment of Broadway Balances America, our series that takes you behind the scenes of some of the most beloved Broadway musicals as they travel across the country and into your local theaters. The Tony Award winning revival Rodgers and Hammerstein's The King and I tells the story of a school teacher who travels from England to Siam to serve as governess to the King's many children. East meets West as their worlds collide in this stunning new production. <laughs> From screen to stage, this Rodgers and Hammerstein classic has been beautifully reimagined and based on the 1944 novel Anna and the King of Siam by Margaret Landon. It carries us away to a foreign land full of dazzling song and dance and features strong female characters who realize the possibility of change. And it really is this kind of strange mid-19th century story about a king in the middle of a kingdom which is in transition, it's changing from a more traditional culture to a modern culture. Um, he's besieged by outsiders, the English, the French, the whoever trying to kind of take over his country. And he feels he has to modernize his country, so he hires the school teacher to teach all the children English and educate them. And so you have the school teacher from England meeting the great king of Siam, and you begin a story between the two of them. Getting to and what a story it is. Broadway star Laura Michelle Kelly plays Anna, the strong willed school teacher. So Anna leaves her home to come to this crazy, conflict ridden country to um, change the lives of all these people. And so she's coming at it with a very st strong mind as she knows what she wants and what, she do what she's doing and what she wants to say. And Lady Chiang has her own opinions herself about um, how things should be run in opposite mind to Anna. She's very strong. And I love that, you know, it's celebrating two powerful female roles and her support for the king in, in one way is, uh, is equally as important but very different from Anna's. He will not always stay. Joan Almedia plays the king's head wife, Lady Tiang. I believe Lady Tiang. She's a puppet master, not in a manipulative way. She has a system, she works systematically, her moves are calculated, um, and also if it was an orchestra, she's the conductor and she knows when something is off in the palace, and she fixes it and she knows when and how to deal with Mrs. Anna because the king likes to be challenged, and Mrs. Anna challenges the king. And because of that, it makes the king a better person. King in the middle of these dynamic ladies is played by Jose Lana. The, the biggest themes in the show is um, is empathy. You know how how do you how can you bridge a gap is by maybe putting your place, putting yourself in, in the shoes of the person that you feel like you have so much in conflict with. But I think once uh, Mrs. Anna and the King and even Lady Tiang as well, they 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 are able to form these friendships because they see the other side and, and maybe they can empathize with them. Uh, that's where those friendships are formed and that we all really want the same thing. You know, we all want safety, we all want love, we all want community. And, and I think that's where the friendship really becomes strengthened in the, in the story. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and whistle a happy tune so no one will The story and show in this grand new production are truly What's opulent. This was such a big production in New York. Are you bringing the same excitement on the road? I think that the quality of it and a more intimate surrounding actually makes it feel more luxurious and richer than it did in New York. This is a very gen one of the general sets. It uh, all takes place basically within the surround of the royal palace of Siam. The palace was actually surrounded by a white wall with these pickets on the top of it. So we decided that with all of the gold, it was nice to have the purity of the white wall at the back that's always there. As for the Tony Award winning costumes. This is one of the largest shows I've ever worked on. There are over 350 costumes in the show and they're all custom made, specifically built for the actor. There's silks and satins and linen and beading and it's just, it's huge. And what people, when they come to see The King and I, they expect a certain 
production value. Uh, Anna has seven big lavish dresses. The King has seven or eight different looks designed by Tony Award winner Catherine Zuber, who won her sixth Tony for this production. It's a very royal look, and when the King first enters, he starts from the top of the stage and walks up, and all you see is this beautiful, beautiful robe reflecting. This is the iconic ball gown for Anna when she goes to dance with the King. And it is made of 25 yards of silk satin just in the skirt alone. Uh, the bodice itself is built as a corset and it's on top of a corset. Then each of the beaded fringe are all hand done. The whole dress weighs about 40 pounds. So there's one, two, three, four layers that go into the dress. Just as there are many layers to the story. It's funny, you know, it's, it, it, from, the, from the first scene when she comes in and when we meet, the king is thrown off balance because he's not used to a woman kind of standing up to him the way that she does. And, 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 and for the rest of the show, it becomes this kind of challenging kind of balance of power. She constantly proves her intelligence to him and that she has the, the ability to help him if he allows her. And, and I think through that, they form this friendship. Um, and there's a little flirtation involved in there too. And I think, um, I think the flirtation and the, and the, the possibilities of, of exchanging ideas and, um, and having a little fun while they're doing it. Is there a favorite moment in the play? Is there a, a favorite song that you have? I mean, Shall We Dance is probably ingrained in my mind from the very first moment I ever watched it in the movies when I was growing up. To have that moment on stage is um, amazing. When the king and Anna first meet accidentally, they, they collide, it's the first time they've ever had an intimacy or even been alone to, to connect like that to something as, and that's as close as they get to a kiss. It's powerful, it's a powerful moment and it's one of my favorites. It's really about the possibility of change. You know, the king learns from her and she learns from the king. And it's a very sophisticated relationship between the two of them. And the North American tour of Rodgers and Hammerstein's The King and I is coming soon to a theater near you. Check out Broadway Across America, Broadway Balances America, or you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com, for all the show information, tour dates, and more.